The Marzano teaching model is a theory and compilation of research synthesized by educational expert Robert J. Marzano. His theory consists of four domains, classroom strategies and behaviors, preparing and planning, reflecting on teaching, and collegiality and professionalism. As the basis of his framework for effective instruction, Marzano provides 10 guiding questions for educators to consider. Marzano himself states, for classroom lessons to be truly effective, educators must examine every component of the teaching process with equal resolve. For today's screencast, we'll focus on questions number one, two, and four. When considering the first guiding question, an observer might see that the learning goals are clearly defined on the board. Second, rubrics or scales are available to provide clear expectations. Marzano prefers to use a scale as opposed to a rubric. And third, student progress is tracked via an individual progress chart. Figure 1.12 in Marzano's text referenced at the end of this presentation illustrates a student progress chart that may be used throughout a unit. However, this slide shows a few more fun options for tracking progress as well. And what might an observer hear in communication to indicate evidence? One, teachers verbally communicate learning goals and expectations in a way that students can understand. Two, and on the flip side, students can then articulate what they're doing and why. Or in other words, they know what they're supposed to be learning. Finally, informal and verbal celebrations are used to recognize student successes as opposed to a reward system. Question two reflects upon helping students interact with new knowledge. One piece of evidence an observer might see would be that after previewing information, students visually adjust their level of excitement towards the information to come. Second, teachers provide helpful graphic organizers or other visuals whenever appropriate. And third, students' notes accurately reflect important content taught throughout the lesson. Considering what an observer might hear for this question might include the teacher clearly explaining why the content information is important. Also, students can explain how the information links to previous knowledge. And as information is presented, teachers stop at strategic points to explain or clarify the information and to ask questions. The fourth question ensures that teachers efficiently guide their students through generating and testing hypotheses. One visual piece of evidence might be that the teacher stays available to students by circulating around the room and providing easy access to himself or herself. Second, the teacher clearly provides resources that will be helpful for students when testing their hypotheses. And third, the organization of student groups facilitates the learning goals and hypotheses testing. And finally, what might an observer hear as students are generating and testing hypotheses? When asked, students can explain the hypothesis they're testing and later whether or not it was confirmed. Students seek out the teacher for advice and guidance regarding their hypotheses, and students are involved in decision-making, problem-solving, and inquiry. Thanks for listening and have a great day.